my, my last guest right here on the show with me, and he goes by the name Rao, as in A R O, Rao. Rao, what's up? Cool, Charlie, cool boss. You're cool. welcome. Thank you. Thank you. How are you much. doing anyway? Yeah, I'm doing great. I'm very fine in yourself. I'm fine. And then, how is the music business going? It hasn't been easy, but we are still pressing on. We are thriving. Yeah. Mm. But when you say it hasn't been easy, what do you really mean? You know, and an upcoming like we are. You yeah. see, we have so many challenges we face. Mm -hmm. Yeah, until you find someone who is willing to take you up and help you through. Yeah. So it, it has always been a struggle. Not easy, bro. So you, you would say that financially, that's that's the only struggle that, that, that promotion wise, yeah, upcoming acts have. Yes, please. But what do you think the government of Ghana or even stakeholders can do to uh, to, to keep the situation? I think they should create more avenue for up and coming. Mm -hmm. There should be some allocation of funds for us, mm -hmm. maybe through our management or through Musica, mm. so that people who have talents like we are, mm. like we have, yeah. we will get access to stretch monies to be able to do what you want to do with our music. Okay. Now, yeah. in our current dispensation, the MPP government has said in their manifesto that they want to, I think, build recording studios for, for musicians. Do you think that you, musicians <laughs> need recording studios? Yes, it's very vital. No, but I'm saying that at this moment, do you think that that is what upcoming musicians, or let's say musicians at, as a whole, need? Do we need recording studios? Or we need no, uh, no, no systems? No, no, not really. Mm. But I think we need it. Okay. Because in the sense that there are so many people who have very good songs, but they don't get a chance to record. To record. Yeah, so it will be very good. Mm. So that at least it will cut some cost of production and all that, like okay. producing your music. Okay. So that you'll be left with just promoting it, coming to GH1 and other TV stations okay. to promote yourself. Okay, right. I get, I get, I get your point. Well, now let's delve yeah, into your song. What's the title of the song? It's Fache. 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 Forgive. Forgive. <laughs> and then one of our friends about Nyo's own Fanche. Nyo, we have money. Nyo, we have money. Okay, we'll be now your money now. We'll cast you in Fanche. Baby, it's not about me. So, so what's, what's the brain behind Fanche? Okay, Fanche is a song I got two years ago. Um, mm. I realized in relationship there are so many things that keeps relationship or bonds going. Mm. Especially if you don't know how to say sorry, yeah. you don't know how to say please. Yeah. You see, you lose someone very vital to That's you. That's true. That's yeah, true. so I just sat back and realized relationships were breaking just because of Fanche. Forgive mm. me. So I. Put the, the song story together. Came the lyrics, out of yeah. it. All right, guys. Now let's go check that one coming from Rao. He calls this one Fache, and I'm itching to see what he's about to say. Let's go. <laughs> Now, guys, now I think that this is, you know, a slow love jam. You know, that, that, the message from this song is actually direct. You know, if you wrong someone, it's only expedient that you apologize. You say, sorry, let bygones be bygones, and then we move. And I'm, I'm, just, I'm just here telling Rao that I think this is an amazing piece that he should, you know, uh, concentrate on promoting. Because it has that, you know, kabna, kabna feel, you know, that lot of feel and all. And uh, Rao, what's my boy now? Oh, no, I'm a senior. Mm -hmm. and no, no, no. So, so what, what, what would be your, your next step after this? Okay, I have so many projects um, in the pipeline. Mm. Um, with my manager, okay. we have a very good song we are bringing out. It's called Otole. Okay. It means God should bless our house. After the COVID, you see, people have lost a lot. A lot, that's So true. they are trying to bring, to, to, to revive or to recoup whatever went away. Yeah, they've so lost So yeah, we want to pass out that message. So I have a lot of things coming through. My mm. EP2 will be out will very be out. soon. Mm. I'm trying to record mm. a lot. Yes, please. So Raul, last question. In two, three years, where do you see yourself? In two, three years, I see myself um, as, beside being a household name, I traveled across the world with my music impacting lives. Mm -hmm. Because um, as an artist, we all have some message or things we, we put across, we put through. Yeah. Um, we have our own desire and our own dreams. Yeah. So I pray by then I'll be able to get my message across and also help fight child trafficking. Mm. I really feel the need to help children who sell across the roots right here. I see. So I see myself being able to, being able to do all that. Yeah. All right, I wish you all the best and we hope Thank that you. You know, all your dreams and aspirations come through. But much. quickly, what can we get you on social media? Look on social media on all platforms. When you need my song or something, you can go to YouTube, um, Instagram. Mm -hmm. It's MBR Records and Nati B. Okay. Especially when you type in Nati B on Instagram, Facebook, mm -hmm. YouTube. You get my songs, you get to get to me. All right, thank you so much, man. All right, guys, and I just wrapped up with Rao. He has an amazing song. Go check it out. It's called Fache.